Che, lo explicas bien, sobre. Sí, yo sí en la plataforma. Bien, bien. Ahorita yo no he trabajado, la, a comenzar a las cuatro hoy. Uh -huh. No, yo ya la tengo. Te sí. Ah, ya. No, yo no he trabajado a las cuatro, pero tal vez más, más noche me pongo. Sí, hay que darle con todo. Ay, Jeffrey. A ver qué tal como me va. Emma, y ahí no está lloviendo. No, aquí está. Bien, Galán. Este se siente fresco porque ya va a llover. No está lloviendo fuerte, pero sí está medio. medio. Y a veces se, se hace mala la señal cuando llueve. Sí. Aquí casi no, pero en otros lugares sí. Y como vemos de todas partes del país. ¿De dónde creo que soy yo? Ay, no sé. ¿De dónde? ¿De dónde? De Santa Tecla. Sí, acá estamos de, de punta a punta. Yo soy de Morazán. Sí, si está lejos. Y ahí hace calor. Ya, no, no. Llegar sí. sí, porque yo no vivo en el norte de Morazán, sino que vivo en el sur de Morazán. Oh, sí. Ah. Se le escucha el acento así raro. <risa> sí, así un, un acento así raro, como casi lo escucho con las personas que vienen de fuera de, del país, del centro del país. Right, hello, sí. <laughs> good, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Hi. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Oh, really? It's nice to see you and to hear you because some of you don't have your cameras on. So yeah. nice to see you and to hear you and to have you in the class. What day is today, class? Today yeah. is? Today is, today is, today is, listen, what day, what day, 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 D-A-Y, day, Monday, it's Monday, yes, Monday, ah, if I ask you what's today's day, Ah, es diferente la cuestión. Son dos preguntas diferentes. Sí, son don't get confused, please. Empecemos con eso. A ver, empezamos con todo. Les preguntaba, what day is today? ¿Qué les pregunto? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday. Thursday. And the other question is, what is today's date? They may okay. sound similar, okay. but not really. Yes, it's not, really. it's not the same. Lo mismo que si yo le digo. How are you? Yes, sir. How old are you? You know? Puede yes. sonar igual, yes. pero no es lo mismo. Yes. <laughs> All right, so... Be careful whenever you listen. You need to give the correct answer. What day is today, class? What day is today? Today is Monday. Great job. What is today's date? What is today's date? Date. Monday. Monday. July. July 3. Mm, tercero, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say tercero? Los vamos a enviar a los preintermedios. Thirteen, not really. Not third. 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 
there. there. Ok, pregunta que Siempre voy a tener. Me ha costado el, el 3, dice el 3 y el 3. Los <ríe> ordinal numbers estaban. I don't really remember. Sí, en los preintermedios. Uno o dos, creo que lo enseñé. So, keep on practicing, you know, that's the idea. Por eso su English Notebook es importante. So, today is Monday, July 3rd. Okay. And as you may see, this is week number three. It means that next week we are going to finish. Wow, time flies. Hey, I already have some other students in the class. Hello, guys. It's nice to have you. Ya son 13 en la clase. 13 students in the class. <laughs> ok, Eli nos escribe. Gracias, Eli, por informarnos. Problemas de la cámara. Vale. Gracias, Eli. Margarita estará de oyente en esta clase. Ah, está lloviendo, en serio. Where are you, Margarita? También Eli, ¿dónde están chicas? Acá no llueve. En San Salvador is not raining at all. No llueve por acá. So you're lucky. Eh, <laughs> What's up? Cristina right. said. Chile Mora Sandis. Who? Oh, sí. Cristina, really? Sí. Oh, Mora that's a beautiful, beautiful place. You know, I have been there in some places of Mora You know, mm -hmm. because I have a lot of family living there. Mm -hmm. oh, los Arguetas son de allá. Argueta from Morazán. My dad actually is from Morazán as well. Oh, oh wow. yes. ¿De qué zona de Morazán, teacher? Uh, you know, most of my family, they live in the... Eh, bueno, se han movido varios, pero sí, en Perkin. Ahí tengo bastante familia. Perkin. Tengo ¿Ah? eh, mi papá que es de... Aguasarca. Sí, ¿y usted de dónde es? Mi abuela es de Arambala. Arambala, Arambala, claro. Argueta también. Capaz, ya ven, los conocemos. Sí, Arambala también tengo familia en Arambala. Así que ahí nos escribimos, Cristina, y vamos a hacer familia. Sin duda, sin duda, nos vamos a ver también un día ahí cerca. Bien, thank you. Eh, Laura, Sara de Oyente. Eli, cerca del lago de Guija. Wow, estamos. ¿Saben que eso es lo bonito de la virtualidad? Todos nos podemos reunir en un solo grupo, no importa de dónde estemos. Perfecto. Class, let me go and check the grades. Hay algunos que tenemos un poquito que completar en la plataforma. Ok. Les enseño cómo van esos porcentajes. Los motivo porque ya la otra semana estaríamos concluyendo con la section number five. Esta columna, estas son las que tenemos que ahorita observar. Homework number one, two and three. Esta ha sido nuestra meta. Tarea uno, dos, tres. Y el midterm exam que se mueve hasta esta columna, que sería la columna la siete. Entonces, si revisaba que ya todos estamos al día con la section number one, two, and three. Si sí, estamos bien, perfecto. Solo hay porcentajes un poco bajos en el examen, en el midterm exam. Y lleguemos por lo menos al 80%. Elmer, si necesita ayuda, no dude en decirme. Podemos revisar los ejercicios que le quedan pendientes después de la clase. Elmer, para que lleguemos al 100%. El midterm exam. Luz, también. Tenemos un 48 todavía en el midterm exam. Ah, aquí veo algunos que ya finalizaron con todo. Miren, Margarita tiene el 100%. Melvin también con todas las actividades. Jennifer Raquel. Edma también. Lo felicitamos. Ana y Amilet, ya veo que tienen completas todas sus secciones. Bien, chicos. Great job. Y la siguiente página tenemos acá, sección 1, 2, 3, todos ya están. Estamos bien, estamos muy bien, ¿sí? Solo son pequeños detalles que hay que finalizar. Nuestra meta para esta semana sería section number 4. 
in section number four, we just have like two topics, three topics, you know, but those topics are enough in order to have like three or four classes. Suficientes dos temas para una semana, you know, mejor porque así nos podemos detener poquito en los temas. We have a homework. Do you remember about the homework? Que les pedí que trajeran para esta clase. On Thursday, I was asking you about a homework. ¿Qué tarea les dejé clase? A saber, teacher. What was the homework? <laughs> Desconectarse la audiencia. Uh -huh. Do you remember about the wishes? Making wishes? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. The question with uh -huh. wish. Aha. Uh -huh. We didn't have time to finish with the wishes. Sí, nos quedó pendiente eh, one activity. So let me show you the activity. Don't you worry. I really hope you to have the answers for this exercise. Well, actually, it's just one for this exercise. Let me bring you back to class number eight. This one. If you remember, we were practicing about the usage of wish, I wish. How do we make a wish? In this case, the idea that we are uh, trying to express is whenever we have a situation in the present and we want this situation to be different. That's why we use the expression, I wish, because probably we cannot change reality just right in the moment. That's why we are always expressing comments in the structure that we use. It is I wish. ¿Sí? Sería genial si pudiéramos cambiar nuestra realidad, ¿verdad? En el momento. Pero no, la estructura que ocupamos es deseo. I wish. Es algo muy utilizado en Spanish as well. I wish. Yo deseo. Y luego le sigue una expresión completa. In this case, the structure that we use for the second part of the wish is the simple past. We were practicing the use of simple past. And the verbs that we were using were regular and irregular verbs. Okay, entonces... En base a eso, expresemos los wishes. What do we need to understand? Primero entiendan quién está expresando el deseo o sobre quién es el deseo. In this case, look, my job. ¿Deseo sobre quién? ¿Sobre mi familia, sobre otra persona o sobre mi persona? My job. My, my person. Me. I'm going to wish about my personal mm -hmm. reality. Number two, I, I am not. It's me again. My family. How about this? Is this a personal wish? Or am I including some other people? Is it personal? ¿Qué piensan? Mi familia. Ni conocía esto, ¿no? Sí. Será? Ah, 8D. No, no es de... estéreo. ¿no? Yo lo conozco así. De otro el audio es 8D. O sea, it's, it's me, Eso, of course, and some other people as well. Como que se va de un recorrido así, llega acá. Number four, the neighbors. The neighbors. Analicemos quién, sobre quién recae ese deseo. My neighbors, the neighbors in this case. The neighbors. ¿Quiénes son? ¿Me incluye? De, me incluye, pero también es de otra mm, persona. ¿Será que me incluye? ¿Qué piensan? No. Not really. Uh, pero uh -huh. sí. <laughs> sí, porque son mi vecino. But in this case, I'm not expressing a possession, my neighbors. Yes. I'm just telling the neighbors. In this mm -hmm. case, it's like a general idea. Yes. Harry, okay. are you Harry? Is your name Harry? Not, person. right? So, expressing a wish about some other people. 
Vale, en base a eso, primera información que deben de buscar. Number two, reality. What's going on with my job? My job was really boring. No, is in the present time, I am saying that my job is really boring. So what's your wish? ¿Qué es el deseo que expresamos que siga de la misma manera el trabajo o que cambie? Change. We yeah. wish for a change. Excellent. So how, what is the wish? How do we make the wish? Mira, me I me wish. I wish. Happy, happy jazz. Mm -hmm. I wish a new job. Vaya, hagámoslo con la misma información y si gustan el mismo orden. I wish. Primera parte. Simple, I wish. ¿Sí? ¿Qué decimos después? My job. ¿Cuál es el pasado de is? The simple past. Uh -huh. Pero queremos que sea o no sea aburrida. No. It's a negative wish, right? Not negative wish, a negative statement that I'm making. I wish my job What? wasn't. Ah, vaya, lo voy a escribir así y quiero que alguien me corrija. Wasn't really boring. ¿Qué estoy haciendo mal en esta estructura? Wearing. There wearing. you go. It Why wearing? Exactly. ¿Por qué wearing and not wasn't? Con todo va a usar web. Exacto. Pues sí pusimos atención en la clase pasada. Is the same, it doesn't matter if I am speaking or talking about it. He, she or it. Wearing, because I am making a wish. I wish my job weren't really boring. ¿Sí? ¿Ven cómo lo redacté de una manera fácil? Bueno, fácil para los teachers. No, ya van a ver que es fácil. <laughs> Número dos. Hagamos otro deseo. I wish. ¿Cuál es el deseo? I'm not on vacation right now. No estoy en vacación. Entonces, deseo lo opuesto, ¿verdad? I wish. I. I wear vacation. Muy bien, vaya. Dejémoslo así. I was. Mm. Para que vean como la tendencia del verbo en pasado. Y después corregimos con where. I wish I was. On vacation. vacation. Right now. Right now, claro que sí. Entonces dijimos que no ocupamos was como es un deseo. Ocupamos la estructura. Where. I wish I were on vacation right now. Ven lo sencillo que es redactar un deseo. Siguiente. My family. ¿Qué deseamos entonces? I wish. Family. Yes, my family. Go ahead, please. Los escucho. I wish my family. Where? 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 No, no, no. Where? Where? <laughs> where? Aquí sí porque tenía el verbo to be. Aquí sí porque tengo el verbo to be. Pero qué verbo tengo acá? Can. Tengo can and afford. Entonces, this, todo this... esto va a, a ser modificado. I wish my family. Can es en presente. ¿Cuál sería el pasado mm -hmm. de can? There you go. Could. Yeah. Luego, afford. Es decir, lo dejamos así. A bigger house. Could. En lugar de can, porque can es en presente. Could. Immediately, I'm going to change or to switch the verb. Siguiente, the neighbors. ¿Qué decíamos de los vecinos? I wish the neighbors ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Dice want Won't stop making noise. Los vecinos no dejan de hacer ruido. Entonces decíamos lo opuesto. I wish the neighbors. Oh. Yes. 
Yes, Jeffrey. Y los demás, no tengan miedo de equivocarse. Go, please. Yes, Jeffrey. Would. Why would? No, cool. Why cool. could? ¿Por qué could? I don't know, maybe. <ríe> Vamos, deben razón y justifiquen. Podemos defender nuestro punto de vista. Could. Vale, les explico. El verbo en presente, ¿cuál es? Revisen el verbo. Es will más el not. Eso lo convierte en want. Ah, pero will es en presente. Entonces busquen la forma pasada de will. Huh? Where? Why where? ¿Por qué where? Bueno, redactémoslo así, a ver qué sale. I wish the neighbors were. Si se fijan, no estoy modificando más que el verbo. Sí tiene sentido. I wish the neighbors, I wish the neighbors were stop making noise. Uh, entonces, no estoy ocupando el verbo to be en mi... Primera oración. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Ya les dije. Miren, will and not. Ok. Así como el presente es can, el pasado era could. El presente es will. ¿Cuál es el pasado? Would. ¿Sí? Son verbos auxiliares que, claro... Al ser un verbo, Mira. ser un verbo, no importa si es auxiliar, tiene una forma Mira. más. ¿Sí? Entonces es Bien. good. Gol. I wish the neighbors would stop making noise. ¿Ven lo que hice? Simplemente busco el verbo y ese es el que cambio la idea. No la debo de cambiar. Harry doesn't like his job. I wish. ¿Qué le sigue, clase? Uh. Mm -hmm. No tengan miedo de equivocarse. I wish Harry. Harry uh, had. Had, ok, had. Uh, new job, I don't know. Ok, I like that idea. Me gusta. A new job. I wish Harry had a new job. Pero ¿y qué si quiero ocupar exactamente las mismas frases? Lo mismo que dice Harry doesn't like his job. Ese es el reto. Dice doesn't like, no le gusta. I wish I really like his job. But in the past, I uh, don't liked. <laughs> Great job. Excelente, ya ven. Ven exactamente, es lo que esperaba escuchar. I wish Harry liked his job. ¿Sí? Lo primero que debo de hacer <laughs> es identificar a quién, de quién está hablando el deseo. Dos, el verbo. Verbo to be, ver to be, un verbo auxiliar por acá, otro verbo auxiliar y el verbo, miren, like. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no le presté atención entonces a este verbo auxiliar? Porque estoy deseando lo opuesto, que sí le guste, ¿ya? Si yo tengo lo contrario, si, ten, si tengo acá Harry like his job, a Harry le gusta su trabajo, entonces estaría deseando lo opuesto. I wish Harry, ahí sí ocupo el auxiliar, pero como quiero expresar una idea afirmativa, solo me enfoco en el verbo, no en el verbo auxiliar. Clase, ¿cómo se sienten entonces ahora que dimos respuesta a esto? Silencio total. How do you feel? Para esto son las sesiones. Don't you worry. 
If it's necessary, I'm going to switch into Spanish so you can understand. Yes? Si no se entiende, aún ahí cambio un poco de español, pero que se entienda. That's the idea. So let me listen to you. Do we need to practice more? Yes. Okay. Yes, there we go. So let's have a practice. You know, this is, this was the last activity from this class, but now let's have it at the beginning. Hey, what time is it, by the way? Ya vamos a revisar la asistencia. So, we have wishes. Wishes, making wishes. Look, we're going to make wishes. So, remember, we need to use the past form of those verbs. So, I wish I'd. Y voy a ir uno por uno. Solo son 14. 14. Y tengo en la clase 19. So, Edma, number one. Go ahead, please. I wish I'd. Sorry, Chief. Let's complete this idea. Complete la idea, por favor. I wish have more time. Have. I, have. I wish I had more have. time. Which one? The have. first one? Have. The first one. Do you agree in that class? ¿Están de acuerdo en eso? No. <laughs> it's in the past. It's in the past. Is this the past form of the verb? No. No? Had. So which is the one? Had. Remember the had. pronunciation. I wish you had. Recuerden el verbo en pasado. Let me see. Okay. That's all right. Jeffrey, go ahead, please. I wish I lived in Europe. Okay. Mm. I wish yep. I lived. Great pronunciation. Lived. Lived. Pronunciación Europe. es muy simple. Lived in Europe. Lived. Okay. Yeah. Lived. Lived. Stephanie, Jamilet, go please. Mm -hmm. I wish you were here with me. All right. Thank you. I wish you were here with me. What a cool wish. Elmer, get ready. And then Norma. Yes, that's all right, Stephanie. Go ahead, Elmer. I hate cars. I wish I fly. I hate cars. I wish I could. Fly. That's all right. Amazing. I wish I could fly. Perfect. Norma Elizabeth. And then Marlon and then Mario Eduardo Sura. Go please. Norma. I miss you so much. I wish I had. Had. Okay. Miren que desea más bonito. I wish I had a time machine. Oh. This is a very special wish. Okay, perfect. Marlon, go ahead, please. Marlon and Nilsson. Where? She wishes she were at home, not at the office. Wow, that's perfect. Great job, Marlon. Mario Eduardo, go ahead, please. Thank you. You wish you could go back and tell him that you love me. Okay. Estos deseos son bien, también románticos, ¿no creen? You wish you could go back and tell him that you love him. Could. That's all right. Let me check on that one. Silvia Lisette, get ready. Oh, please. Silvia. Uh, where? Can you read the complete idea? I wish. Lea la oración completa, por favor. I wish. I wish I were so Okay, where? Are you sure? I wish I were so obsessive. Weren't? Yeah, right. Creo que cambia la, la idea, ¿verdad? 
¿Queremos ser obsesivos? No, we don't want to. I wish I weren't so obsessive. I hate that about me. Let me check on that one. Great job. Catherine and Jasmine, and then Melvin Gerardo. Get ready. Catherine, go ahead. Please. I wish I had an new job. Have. This one? Yeah. Are you sure? Have. <laughs> have, have, or had? Had. Had. I wish I had a new job. ¿Quién desea esto, clase? I wish I had a new job. Whose wish is this? Me. Me, is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, excellent. Next one. Melvin Gerardo, go ahead, please. And then Georgina Beatriz. She wishes she knew. Tom Cruise. All right, there you go. New. She wishes she knew Tom Cruise. Excellent. Georgina Beatriz, and then Rosa Yvette. Jim. Are you, are you there, Georgina? I guess she's not there. We wish, Georgina, we're here. Baby, don't hurt me. Rosa Yvette, go ahead, please. Oh, there you like are, it. Georgina. <laughs> but, uh, like it, Jean wishes she like it to cook. Ah, and what's the correct pronunciation, class? Acuérdense que el ED tiene diferentes pronunciaciones al final. Light. Light. Una T. Light. Jim wishes she liked to cook. ¿De quién está hablando Jim? Jim wishes she liked to cook. ¿A quién se refiere? ¿Qué creen? Jim wishes she liked to cook. Desearía o desea que le gustara cocinar. There you go. Rosita y Beth, está por ahí. Because this is for you. Yes, sure. Oh, no, please. I wish I I was the next president. Okay. Are you sure? Nos quedamos con was? Wait, let me see. <laughs> no, I wish ah. I I be the next president. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I think. Plaza, ¿qué opinan ustedes? What's your opinion about this? Uh -huh. ¿Qué dijimos del verbo to be? Siempre Where? va a ser, siempre, no importa el sujeto, va a ser. Uh. Where? Where? Okay, miren Rosa y Beth. I wish I were the next president. ¿Sí? Not Najib Bukele, right? Rosita, presidente. So she wishes she were the next president. So where the past of the verb to be is going to be where? Because we are making wishes. Next one. Who's next? Let me see. Cristina. And then, well, I guess this is yeah, Cristina and then Jennifer Raquel. Go oh, please. I wish I have a salary rise. This one? Have. Yes. Yes, have. A salary rise. Is it okay? Or do you want to make a change? N N change. Yes. Has has has. Remember the past. I wish I had a salary raise. ¿Qué estamos deseando? ¿Quién desea esto? I wish I had a salary raise. Me. Okay. I wish I had a salary raise. Todo desea, verdad? Un aumento de salario. That's all right. Had. Okay. And Jennifer. With the last one, please. Jennifer, please. 
I wish I. Is Jennifer Raquel in the class? Okay, Laura Concepcion. No, please. Not here. Okay, let me look for somebody. Norma Elizabeth Callejas. Go ahead, please. No. Diana Abigail. I wish I had a salary rise. All right, have. That's all right. Thank you, Diana. Perfect. So, what could you see? Siempre la primera expresión, I wish, I wish. Yo deseo. ¿Sí? Queda siempre en afirmativo. Vaya, revisemos la asistencia. Veo que algunos no están por ahí. Sí. Recuerden que si vamos a estar con cámara apagada y de oyente, tenemos que justificarlo al inicio de la clase. ¿Ok, chicos? Si no, recuerden, si la grabación es ahorita, se puede tomar como eh, que no estamos comprometidos, ¿verdad? Con la clase. ¿Qué grupo es? Aquí estamos. Intermedio 1. There we go. So let me call your names. Today is Monday. Bye, aquí vamos. Do not forget to say here or present. Ana Yamilet Hernández. The chat in WhatsApp. You know what happens? Sometimes I don't have the time to check WhatsApp. You know, ayúdenme a revisar WhatsApp, por favor. Porque como estamos acá concentrados, no me puedo eh, desatender tan fácil a revisar WhatsApp. Okay. ¿sí? Dijo sí. algo Ana y Amilet, ¿no? Aún no sale de su turno. Ok, thank you, Pero, Chris. Uh, Muy bien, gracias por ayudarme. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. I'm your teacher. There you are, Diana Abigail Alvarado. Present teacher. There you are. Edma Salia Marina Peña. Present teacher. Excellent, Edwin Alexander Ergris. Okay, there you are, Edwin Eli Antonio Sandoval. Present. There you are, excellent. Georgina Beatriz Perez. Present. Excellent, Georgina. Elmer Antonio Landaverde. Here. Oh, here. there you are, excellent. Jeffrey oh, Mauricio happy. Guzman. Here, coach. There you are, excellent. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Here, coach. Excellent. Jonathan. Alexander Molina. Jonathan Alexander Molina. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present, Ok, Catherine, Laura, Concepción, Mena. Laura. Ok, she's... there you are. Let me see. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Is losing the class. Margarita Abigail Tobias. Present. There you are, Margarita. Excellent. Mario Eduardo Sura. Present. Excellent. Marlon Edenilson Pérez. Present, Miss. Okay, Marlon. Melvin Gerardo Canales. Present, teacher. Ok. Norma Elizabeth Callejas. Present. All right. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Present, teacher. Excelente. Rosa Ivette García. Present, teacher. There you are. Silvia Lizeth Melara. 
present teacher. Okay, Silvia and Stephanie Yamilet Perez. Present teacher. Okay, Stephanie, excellent. Luz, Jonathan Alexander, and Ana Yamilet are the ones who are missing. Okay, clase. Les motivo que continuamos practicando, ¿sí? El uso de wishes. Vale. Vamos a tener la última actividad, probablemente una actividad diferente. This is going to be reading class number nine. As you see, we have been practicing. Hemos estado practicando eh, making wishes. In this case, uh, I need you to go back in times where you were learning this list of verbs. Simple past verbs with regular and irregular examples. So look what we have right here. We are going to practice reading. Quiero escucharlos leyendo. ¿Sí? No se preocupen si hay corrección de vocabulario. Si hay corrección de... Espérense, vamos a hacer unas correcciones mínimas acá. De pronunciación. La idea es esa. Que nos sintamos apoyados en la lectura. ¿Sí? Para que ustedes puedan... Practicar muchas cosas a la vez, comprensión de lectura, pronunciación, el uso de los verbos en su forma pasada, ¿ok? Esa sería nuestra meta para hoy. To have this short reading, so you can practice pronunciation. So, hoy sí necesito volunteers, I need some volunteers. So, raise your virtual hand, so I can take a look at the volunteers in a... Order. Vamos. Yes, ¿Cuántos tengo? A ver, just one. One volunteer. Thank you, Norma. Jeffrey's the second one. Edma, the third one. Melvin, go ahead, please. Muy bien, cuatro. ¿Cuántos más? ¿Solo cuatro? Vale, empecemos entonces. Four volunteers. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Primer párrafo. Vamos. Let's start reading. Yesterday, the pie had a job interview. She went downtown to the company. The interview was for a counting a country job. Mm -hmm. The pie graduated Debbie. University. Debbie. Ah, oh, okay. Graduated university three months ago. Okay, there you are. Vale, solo voy a hacer anotaciones. Don't you worry. Edma, continue. Her interview was at 10 a.m. She woke up at 7 a.m. and left her house before 8 a.m. She waited for, uh, for the bus, but it was late. She was very worried because she did not want to be late for the interview. Okay, In thank the, you. Stop. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Elmer, continue. Algunos le pueden decir Wait. stop. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Elmer, she tried. She tried to find the company to warn them, but her phone battery was dead. Dead. Right. Continue. When the bus arrived, it was almost nine o'clock a.m. Then the bus was slow because there were were many other stairs. The bus finally arrived at Davis. Stop at 9.45 a.m. Excellent. Great job. Jeffrey, start again. Empieza otra vez. Yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, Derry had a job interview. She went downtown mm -hmm. to the company. The interview was for a counting job. Okay. Stop. Thank you. An accounting job. Continue, Mario Eduardo. Ya no veo las manos levantadas, chicos. ¿Qué pasó? Mario Eduardo, continue. Debbie graduated university three months ago. Mm -hmm. Continue. Her, her interview was at 10 a.m. She woke up at 7 a.m. and left her house before 8 a.m. She went for the bus, but it was late. Okay, stop. Thank you. Catherine, Jasmine, continue. And she was she was very worried because she did did not want to be late for the interview. 
She tried to phone the company to attempt, but her phone battery was dead. Okay, stop, thank you. Marlon, continue. When the bus, here. Uh, when the bus arrived, uh, it was almost 9 a.m. Then the bus one was slow because uh, there were many other cars. Uh, the bus finally arrived, but uh, Davis stopped at 9 45 a.m. Okay, Stephanie Jamilet. Where did you go, Stephanie? Rosa, usted va a terminar, don't worry. Stephanie Jamilet, where did you go? Can you help us reading? If not, Ana Yamilet, continue, please. Okay, Rosita, continue. Debbie. Debbie ran from the bus stop to the office building. When she entered, she saw a sign that say the company was on the for two forty floor, the elevator ride took almost five minutes because many people they stopped at different floors. Okay, thank you. Next one. Busquemos a alguien que no lo he escuchado ahora. Veamos a quién. Ayúdenos, Margarita, please. Y luego Edwin Alexander. When Debbie. When Debbie arrived at reception. It was 9.58. She was in time. I am here to see Mr. Lewis, said Debbie. Okay, stop. Thank you, thank you. Edwin, continue. The receptionist. And the receptionist, right? Yes, yes the receptionist. Yes, the receptionist checked her book and replied, She is not here today. What is your name, please? My name is Davy Grayson. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Davy, but your appointment is tomorrow. Davy checked her. I her. Uh, agenda. <laughs> okay. well, I, I don't remember. Agenda, agenda, agenda. Agenda, right? Yes. Agenda. It was true. She was there on the wrong day. Oh, right. Vaya, hagamos algunas correcciones. No sé si se comprendió la lectura, pero ustedes la van a finalizar en grupos. Yesterday, Debbie had a job interview or interview. You can pronounce it in both ways. ¿Sí? Me fijé que los verbos en pasado no los estamos haciendo correctamente. She went downtown to the company. The interview was for an accounting job. Debbie graduated university three months ago. Her interview was at 10 a.m. She woke up at 7 a.m. and she left her house before 8 a.m. She waited for the bus, but it was late. She was very worried because she did not want to be late for the interview. She tried to phone the company to warn them, but her phone battery was dead. When the bus arrived, it was almost 9 a.m. Then the bus was slow because there were so many other cars. The bus finally arrived at Davis' stop at 9.45 a.m. Debbie ran from the bus stop to the office building. When she entered, she saw a sign that said the company was on the 24th floor. The elevator ride took almost five minutes because many people stopped at different floors. When Debbie arrived at reception, it was 9.50 and she was in time. I am here to see Mrs. Lewis, said Debbie. The receptionist checked her book and replied, She's not here today. What is your name, please? My name is Debbie Grusson. Sorry, Debbie, but your appointment is tomorrow. Debbie checked her agenda. It was true. She was there on the wrong day. ¿Sí? ¿Se comprendió la lectura de Debbie? 
¿Qué pasó? Has this happened to you? ¿Ya les ha pasado? No. Yes. No. Acá hay una que le ha pasado. You know? What a shame. What a shame I may say. It. Qué vergüenza, chicos. But in my case, it was an appointment. A doctor's appointment. Fue un appointment con un doctor. I was there on a Friday and my date was on a Monday. Imagine. You know, I didn't know. I don't know how I did it. And I was waiting there because my appointment was at 3 p.m. It was 5 p.m. and I was still waiting. So I went to the receptionist and I asked. I was really mad and I said, hey, I have been waiting here for two hours. So why are you calling some other people that came after me? And you're not calling me. And you know what she said? Oh, let me check on that one. I'm so sorry. And then she said, hey, but today is not the 13th. It's on Monday. And I was like really, really ashamed, believe me. But if you want, I can write your name down on the list. And you're going to be the last one, she said. As I was really ashamed, I said, yes, you can do that. You know, I'm going to wait. And, you know, it was 5 p.m. when she told me that. Can you guess what time I left the doctor's office? ¿A qué horas creen que salí y pasé de consulta? At 7.15 p.m. Imagine. So... Please check on dates. Revisenlas, ¿sí? Revisen eh, los, las fechas de sus consultas o oh, lo que tengan. Porque si a mí me pasó, believe me, I was really mad. Yo estaba bien enojada. ¿Por qué no me llaman? He esperado dos horas y no me llaman. Y es que estaba en el día equivocado. Era viernes y me tocaba el lunes. So, también otra moraleja. Piensen antes de actuar enojados. Que sí, es bien vergonzoso. Muy vergonzoso. Pasar por situaciones así. Bien. ¿Qué van a hacer? Tengo cinco preguntas. You will have this exercise. Mm, son cuatro preguntas, ¿sí? Let me send this information. Van a leer con sus compañeros para que practiquen en parejas la lectura. Van a traer estas cuatro respuestas. Y quiero que identifiquen todos los verbos en pasado que vean. ¿sí? They, can, they could be... Examples of regular or irregular verbs. Y que aquí vamos. Here we go. Grupo de... ¿Dónde están? No los veo, aquí estoy. Ok. Va, ahí va la primera. Did you get the picture? First picture. Yes. 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 Okay. Here we go with the second one. Second picture and the ones for the questions. Ahí está. Ay, no, chicos, ya me hicieron acordar de eso. ¿Y saben cuándo fue? El mes pasado. Es lo peor. Fue este mes pasado, en junio. Me pasó. What a shame. Qué vergüenza. So, that's it. Vaya, lo voy a enviar en grupos. Vamos a ver, tres o cuatro para que trabajen. Respondiendo las preguntas y trayendo los ejemplos de los verbos en pasado. Here we go, class. Speaking time. You can do it. Go, class. Tenemos de cinco a siete minutos. And then we come back and check the answers. Go. It's time to work. Great job. Speaking time. If you cannot access the room, the breakup rooms, you can stay here, okay? This will be another room. Quédense acá si no pueden ingresar a las salas. Este es otro, otro grupo de trabajo, okay? There you go. All right.
entrevista en el 24. What happened at the end of the story? Okay. En la primera, este, o las diez era, ¿verdad? Sí, Harry. Sí, yes, at ten. At ten. La segunda was the bad bus. Yes, slow. Yes, the bus was slow. The third one, what floor of the building was the interview? It's 24. 24th floor. Hi. Okay. Ya terminamos, Tichi. Yeah. Do you have the examples, the verbs in the past, regular and irregular? Okay. How many did you get? Um. <laughs> los verbos, <laughs> aquí los verbos, la lista de verbos. Ya han terminado, sí. tienen dos minutos más. Keep on working. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Tenemos when did you finish? Yes. You did. Yes. Did you get yes, the list? Did. The list from list from the regular and irregular verbs. Ah, uh, the list. Ajá, mm -hmm. pues sí. No se acuerdan la lista. Vamos, todos los verbos que encuentran regular and irregular verbs. Go please. Ah, okay. Regular. So, A58, we're coming back. Les queda un minuto. Keep on working. The press. Yes. Ah, okay. Did you finish? Yes, we did. You did? Yes. Okay, do you have the list of verbs? Regular and regular yeah. verbs from the reading? No. Not right. We just <laughs> uh, answering the questions. Ah, yeah. oh, just mm -hmm. the questions. So try to do that. Yeah. Les queda un minutito. Right. Vamos, vamos. You can do it. <laughs> Great job, guys. Okay. Bueno, muy bien, vamos. Sigan trabajando. Keep on working. Okay. All right, it's time to come back. Tuve oportunidad de trabajar, Melvin y Norma Elizabeth. Sí. ¿Trabajaron? No, no me cargó, no sé por qué. No le cargó, la sala. Ah, oh, la sala no sí, le cargó. No me cargó, sí, me tuve que salir y pues volví a ingresar aquí. Ay, ok. Vale, siempre si le da problemas, que se mejor en la sala principal. Y con los que estén acá, por ejemplo, aquí tengo Norma. Acá tengo es que no me cargaba nada, que se quedó como conectando. Ajá, me quedó conectando. Sí. Hasta ahorita que me puede conectar a la sala principal. Vale, no se preocupe, Melvin, gracias por el esfuerzo. Ya casi terminamos, ok. Quedan okay, dos gracias. minutitos, excelente. There we go. All right, time to come back. We are about to finish, okay? Qué rápido se va la clase, una hora, no un poquito. We need two hours at least. La número uno, pidámosle ayuda. Let me see. 
¿Quién nos ayuda con la ONU? Who wants to participate? Okay, los dejo a criterio de ustedes. For volunteer, go please. Number one, read the question and give me the answer. 10 a.m. But read the question. What time? Okay, what time was Debbie interviewed? And Debbie's. Acuérdense que el posesivo suena como un plural, pero así no es. Debbie's. Davis, Davis interview. Davis, Davis, nombre Davis, Davis interview, interview. At 10 a.m. Great job. Number two, interview or interview, yes. Number two, number two. Once again, who was reading? I couldn't notice. Me, teacher. Oh, go please. It's you. Mm. Why the bus is slow or fast? Uh -huh. is, is it slow? It was slow. It, it was, was it slow. Was. Sorry. Sorry. No, no. Don't be sorry. That's all right. It's Excellent. It. Number three. Vamos, clase. Bueno, si no hay voluntarios, hasta que hayan voluntarios. Y terminamos con la cuatro, nos vamos. Number three. ¿Quién salva la clase? What floor of the I building was in inner <laughs> okay. in 24. 24th. Great pronunciation. 24th. Gracias, Margarita. El último en salvar la clase. No puede ser nadie que ya participó. Ni Jeffrey, ni Edma, ni Margarita. Go, please. Number four. Yo tengo tiempo, chicos. No sé ustedes. Yo What happened story? <laughs> Jess, ¿quién está leyendo? Debbie, Debbie arrived on the wrong day for her job. Okay. Mario. What was that again, Mario? Read it again, please. What happened at the end of the story? What happened at the end of the story? Sorry. Debbie yep. arrived yep. on the wrong day for her job interview. That's it. Great job. Thank you. Vaya, para finalizar no, la no, clase. Really. Les dije, tráiganme una lista de verbos que hayan encontrado. Regulares e irregulares. At least four examples. Cuatro ejemplos. Alguien que no haya participado. No, no, vamos. No four examples. But let me stop What? sharing. Yes, los escucho. What? Ok. Had. Mm -hmm. Have. Where is it? What? Oh, okay, okay. Another one. Deme dos irregulares, por favor. Irregular verbs. Two irregular examples. Normal. All right. Irregular. Irregular. Have. Uh -huh. And the other one? Have. Have and had. Okay, there you go. So class, time is over. Los motivo a que eh, repasen nuevamente la pronunciación. La lectura, háganlo en voz alta para practicar más la fluidez. Leer en voz alta es una técnica muy útil, ¿sí? Que les va a ayudar a desenvolverse. A posicionar eh, la lengua donde debe ir. Eso es lo que nos ayuda a pronunciar mejor. Reading, reading and reading, ¿sí? Thank you, class. Let's stop the class here. Thank We're going to you. continue tomorrow. It was a good one today. See you tomorrow, yes. class. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night to you. Bye. See you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.